Bengukusan, Minai, your sacrifice won't be in vain. Your demon slayers couldn't defeat me. What do you expect to do? <laughs> we were just buying time for him to arrive. Who? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. The Doom Slayer here is from the game Doom Eternal and to describe him briefly is the prime giga chat that rips and tears anything regardless of affiliation. Oh lord, guide us through the light. God is dead. I ripped and tear through heaven in order to install freedom. When looking at the skull, the helmet is intricately detailed with all the individual components being superbly designed, such as the visor, the breathing components, and the slayer insignia inscribed onto the helmet. Love the attention to detail. Talking about detail, the body armor is impressive with the individual components, just like the helmet, being beautifully rendered, making an impressive piece of armor. So impressive that it can withstand anything. And I mean anything. Even the back is beautifully rendered with the muscle armor alongside the vertebrae recreation being made by the sculptors from Greece. There's also the shoulder cannon that is used to fire grenades at hostiles and is articulated in order to maintain a ready stance and a combat stance. The arms are a work of art themselves as firstly rather than being identical, are sculpted differently with the left and right being separately sculpted. Both the shoulders are superb with exposed arms possessing the weathered look filled with testosterone, making Akaza look like a bitch in comparison. And we can't forget about the gauntlets which are colored in bronze alongside the left gauntlet possessing a blade that can be extended for maximum goal. Looking below the belt, the slayer might be a giga chad, but he's too busy with that killing that has become a relic at this point. Looking behind... Great ass! Look at the legs, they're so thick that it puts Japanese characters to shame. And from the knees onward, just like the gauntlet, are colored in bronze and being intricate with each line and details inscribed. Now, when looking at accessories, the Doom Slayer is equipped with a buttload of them. Mamma mia! Firstly, look at the hands. A lot, and I mean a lot of hands. This, open hands. Trigger hands with the right hand possessing three different variants for the different weapons included. A flexible holding hand, a fixed holding hand, and a thumbs up hand. Now when it comes to armaments, the Doom Slayer is packed as he is destined to face the various armies, both heaven and hell. Besides the arm blade and shoulder launcher previously mentioned, you have your trusty double barreled shotgun used for maximum damage at close range. And looking at the shotgun, the metallic grey paint job is superbly implemented, with the markings being naturally blended for screen accuracy. The shotgun is also packed with an underbarreled hook to close the gap between the slayer and the intended target for CQB. And you cannot talk about the Doom Slayer without talking about the big friendly giant. Get that child friendly shit out of here, so we got the big fucking gun! And this babe here is the basically a handheld WMD, capable of destroying hordes of hostiles at once. And looking at Figma's recreation of the BFG is... Barashi. Barashi. The technical details are well defined with the paint job being superbly implemented, differentiating the two types of grey seen here. On the other hand, the green paint job is mid, as it lacks the multi-layer complexity compared to the grey and doesn't do the BFG justice. When looking at the melee weapons, there is your trusty chainsaw which is splendid as like the previous weapons, it is superbly detailed with a great paint job allowing the slayer to mince enemy demons and onis. And then there's your newly introduced crucible made out of the ardent energy allowing to cut through anything and annihilate any evil to the core. And closely observing the crucible, there's the slayer's insignia at the core. Also, the ardent blade is superbly replicated with an individual kanji being inscribed onto it. When looking at the Doom Slayer, as a genetically modified human, the Slayer is a tall lad, outsizing most. And Figma chose to wisely implement such aspects as the Slayer is 16cm or 6.2 inches, 
making him on the tall side for most figures. Here's the Doom Slayer next to Gunpla, Monster Arts, Star Wars Black Series, and other figments. When discussing about articulation, the Slayer, while not the most articulated figure, still doesn't disappoint. Unlike last time, the head movement is your standard figment range. Lift the shoulder armor and you get decent arm movement. Standard elbow movement, separate movement for the elbow armor, standard hand movement, chest movement allows for up and down movement, while the hip movement allows for side to side. Leg spread, standard knee movement, and limited feet movement. In conclusion, the consideration of the Doom Slayer is a work of art as Good Smile Company has given their all. As the superb details, a wide assortment of accessories, and the Giga Chat height allows the Slayer to stand out among his peers and stand at the top of the echelons of the Figma line. The only gripe I have is the articulation, but it is still pretty impressive and far better than the previous two Figmas. With that said, I would highly recommend the Figma Doom Slayer and give it a ranking of A.